Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my third video on the Cisco Jabber. So this video is all about the lab. I will show you few things like how to add the end user and all other things on the CUCM. So let me just give you a brief idea about that thing like what we are going to discuss in this video. So we will first add the end user like I will show you on the CUCM how we can add the end user. Then we will discuss about the UC services profile. UC service profile, it means we will create the UC service profile as well. So the users, UC service profile is the thing through which you can uh, give the access to the end user, like whether he will be uh, able to make only the, uh, he will be only able to make the instant messaging only, or he's allowed to, uh, make the calls as well. Yeah, the calls depends on the CSF device, but at least you should add that service profile in the end user so that uh, all the access has been given to that particular end user. And under that UC service profile, you should mention about these UC services. So uh, we have five services in the UC services. The first one is Unity, IAM and Presence, CTI, conferencing and the directory services and then we will discuss about the groups and roles in the end user like what's the use of these groups and roles as well and then i will show you like how we can add the csf devices and how we can associate with the end user and then i'll discuss about the uh, gateway on present server like we need to add the gateway on present server so gateway means you need to add the CUCM, a publishers or subscriber IP on that present server. So I will show you how we can add it. And then I'll show you uh, the services on the IAM and present server, which we need to enable, which we need to like activate or those services should be running on the IAM and present server so that your chapter will work. So these, these are the five services that is Cisco presence engine, XCP router, SIP proxy, sync agent and the client profile agent we will discuss about these services in detail when i will show you the show you it on the i am and present server so let's start with the end user like first we will add the end user on cuc okay let me log in on my cucm first So once you're, once you're logged in on the CUCM, you need to go to the user management and then select the end user. So most of the time in the production environment in the companies, it should be like synced with the LDAP. So now here we are just adding it as a local user. So once I click on add new, it will just open this new page. Now here I need to give the user ID here. <clears throat> So let me give the user ID as test jabber user one. And then uh, we will just add the password, password and confirm password. And then there will be a pin as well as confirm pin. So what are the differences between this password and the pin? We need to give both. I like as of now I am doing the local. I'm just adding as a local user. So I will give both uh, i will give the password on the both in the password as well as in the pin so what's the difference between this password and pin so password you need to you need to give the password if you want to like uh, log in on the cucm admin page ccm admin page or if you want to log in on the ccm user page like user defined page like it, it, it's it's mainly the password mainly used for the gui page like for the graphical user interface and this pin is mainly used for the telephony user interface like uh, if you are like uh, if you are logging in with the extension mobility on your phone then then you need to use this pin for that particular extension mobility so this pin is used for the extension mobility we can say and this password is used for the gui page like this page ccm end user page or this ccm admin page so let me just uh, give a random password on this. And then I will add the password in the pin 
in the pin itself. After that, there are mandatory things which you need to add, like this last name should be there. So let me just put the last name as user one and first name as test jabber. So my user ID is already test jabber user one. And then you need, you can enter the display name, directory, URI, telephone number if you want. Manager user ID, mail ID, like you can give it here as well. But there is no need because these are not, uh, not the mandatory things. The mandatory thing, last name and the passwords you can. Password is really required actually as of now. It is not showing mandatory because if, if this is uh, synchronized with the LDAP, then it will automatically show it up here. And you can just use that password. And then the main thing which is required that is this home cluster under the service settings. So you need, you need to enable this home cluster in order to log in on the things like if you want to log in on the Jabber, if you want to log in on the all other things. So once you are, once you want to log in on the Jabber, then this home cluster should be checked. It is required once if we have, if you have the like uh, 10 CUCMs, 10 clusters in your environment and it is already everything is already synced with the LDAP and that is only in the we can say only at one location and the one country we can say then you need to check the home cluster like how how you can uh, assign those particular users to which cluster then you need to check this home cluster and then the next part it is showing up here enable user for unified IAM and presence so we can enable this one as well. It, so for that, you need to like, uh, it should show, it, it is just saying configure IAM and presence in the associated UC service profile. So this is the UC service profile, which will be associated here. So it is saying you need to configure IAM and presence in the associated UC service profile if you are enabling this, if you're checking this. one. And the next one, it is just saying like include meeting information in presence and that requires exchange present gateway to be configured on the IAM and presence server. So that things you can check. And after that, we have UC service profile thing. So as of now, it is showing uh, the UC service profile is showing default user profile, this one. And let's do one thing. We will not use this default one here. Let me, let me just uh, save this end user first, and then I will show you the UC service profile and the UC services which we discussed in the slide. So let's see, okay, this uh, this test Java user one is added successfully. So let me show you the UC services and UC service profile. So uh, in the UC services, we have five UC services, that is Unity, Presence, CTI, Conferencing, and the directory services. Let me show you all these services under this service profile because if we are creating the service profile, then we need to choose those services. Let me just show you the service profile. I won't be able to show you like uh, how the voicemail is connected, like what's the IP of my voicemail, what's the uh, active LDAP, like LDAP thing, the IP address. So I, I, I can't show you that things because that is not in my lab. So I will show you all these services, like where you can check these services, where you can, create the service profile. So let me just uh, show you here. Let me just create one service profile test service profile for instant messaging. So let's just take an example for this test service profile for instant messaging and you can give the same description. If you want to make it as a default, then you can make it as a default one as well. So in this instant messaging service profile, what are the things which you need? So for the instant messaging, it means you just need to chat with all other users. You don't need the uh, phone capability or all other things. So for this instant messaging, first, that is the main thing which you need, that is directory profile. So this active, this LDAP, like once it's synced with the LDAP, it will show the server here. So for this service profile, you can check this directory profile. In the primary, you can choose the server, which will show it up here once it is synced with that LDAP. 
and the next thing which you need that is i am in presence profile so i am in presence it's already there actually it will show up the here presence uses service profile so we can add this one if you have like more than one two three or the present or the i am in presence and you can choose the secondary one here and then the tertiary one here if you have three so right now i only have this one that is i am in presence only one then this is already there primary i can just add this presence uses service profile and once I have the directory, then you can just add this directory as well. So make sure like you are, you're not using this voicemail profile or the conferencing profile because the voicemail profile you need once you are able to make or you are able to receive the calls only then you need this voicemail profile or the conferencing profile and the CTI profile. These are the main like five, five uses services which you need. The first one is voicemail profile, the service, the conferencing service, directory service, I am in presence and the CTI service. These are the five services which we needed. As of now for the instant messaging, we just need two. That is I am in presence and the directory. Let me just save it. This one is the test service profile for the instant messaging. So this is successfully added. Let me add another one. So let me add the, another service profile, test service profile for calling. I will just add, I will just enter this name, test service profile for calling. And then once it is for calling, then you need to mention all the services, all the five services, because for the calling, you need instant messaging as well. You need voicemail as well. You need a conference as well. So for the voicemail profile, you can just um, add the primary server here. Once it shows here, as of now, it is not showing because the things are not configured in this lab environment. So you can just add the voicemail, voicemail profile like here, and then you can choose the conferencing profile as well here directory profile also once it's synced with the LDAP, then I am in presence as well. And then the CTI profile, CTI profile and why, why we are using the CTI profile. So CTI means uh, a computer telephony integration. So it will integrate with the phone also. So once you're on the Jabber, it will just integrate with the phone as well. Remember once when, uh, when we were uh, discussing about that Cisco Jabber boot up process, we had CCMC IP profile. So which shows the disk phone activity on your Jabber as well. If, if you haven't checked my video on that uh, uh, Cisco phone Jabber boot up process, I will, I will uh, put it in the I button. Then you can check my video on the Cisco Jabber boot up process as well. So uh, here we will mention all these services, CTI profile, I am in presence profile, directory profile, conferencing profile, and the voicemail profile. So once all these are added, I will just click on save. And then I'll just uh, get back to that end user. And then I'll show you, it will show these service profiles under that particular end user. So let me just search it with username contains. I think it was test. Okay, I created this one test jabber user one. All the, all the things are added. This one is added. Now under this UC service profile, you will be able to see the profiles which I added. So I created these profiles, test service profile for calling and the test service profile for instant messaging. If you want this test Jabber user one user to just uh, make a chat as chat only with the user, then you can just give this service profile, test service profile for instant messaging. If you want to enable this user for the calling as well, the yeah, calling actually depends on the like on the CSF, your CSF should be there first in this control device and your CSF should be configured first and then your calling will work but this is just enabling this end user so that it can receive or make a calls so i am just giving this test service profile for calling here and after that once you are configuring once you configure that csf device then you can add it here so let me just check in the device association because we already had uh, csf devices there already configured 
let me just check if I can find those CSF devices, then I will just show you how we can add it. So we have this port user and the CSF users already created there uh, with these directory numbers. So let me just choose anyone like CSF user three, I'm choosing it. And I will associate this CSF user three with that, or let me just choose test java zero one, CSF user zero one, so that it will uh, communicate configure with this test server user one, like it will associate it. I will, I just selected it and then I can just click on save selected changes. So once I uh, clicked on save, it will show up here. Let me get, go back to that end user page. So it will show you there that CSF device is already in the control device. So this CSF user 001 is in the control devices and it is added in this end user test jabber user one that is the uh, csf i will show you uh, how we can create the csf device as well after this okay and after that we have main thing that is the groups like if we need to give the permissions as well to this end user like whether this end user is unable to open the end user page or not or whether whether this user is able to uh, open this admin page as well or not. So I, we need to add this user to the control groups. So let me show you, there are so many control groups which are by default there in the CUCM. So now you can see if you want to enable this user just for the, so if this user can only see the user page, then we can just give this user as standard CCM end user. This is just an end user. And if you want this user to log in on this admin page of CUCM and we, it can manage all the things, then you can give him the access of standard CCM admin users or the standard CCM super users that depends on the different, different, uh, you can say different, different priorities or the different, different uh, uh, configuration, I can say, or the access. So standard CCM super user is like having uh, like standard CCM read only. It means it is only read only access. Phone administration means it will only able to admin, uh, admin like configure the phone. So the gateway administration end user only able to see the end users, CCM end users, super users. So there are different, different uh, like access levels on this. If you want to enable the extended CTA enabled, or the any other third party application, then you can just, I just clicked on like end user uh, read only admin. So it doesn't make any sense like if, uh, if I just add read only as well as admin. So it, it doesn't make any sense for the read only or the super user. I'm just giving the CCM admin user. So it will allow, it will just give you all the things, all the access. Once you click on save, it will show you what all are the roles added under these groups. So let me just save it. So update, it is showing update successful and let me show you the groups. So I just added standard CCM admin user and CTA enabled group, then it already it automatically added the roles. So what is the role in the standard CCM admin user? It added the role as standard CCM admin user in the CTI, it is added CTI enabled. And then <clears throat> it is also added the reporting as well as reporting authentication standard as well. So it automatically added these roles under these groups. So these are the main things which we need to check while we are adding the end user, like as a enable as a local user as of now. But if, if it is like enabling with the LDAP, it, it, if it is synced with the LDAP synchronization, then you can then also you need to uh, add these groups and roles and this uh, control device as well. And this home cluster service settings and the service profile. There is only one thing which you don't need to uh, which you don't need to change. That is a pin in the, if it is already synced with the LDAP. So after that, <clears throat> I will show you like how we can create the CSF profile. I will show you the configuration of that CSF profile as well as the, uh, the gateway on the presence, how we can add the gateway on the present server and all the services which needs to be running or which needs to be activated on the uh, IAM and present server. I will show you all these things in the next part of this video. And I hope you really like this video and you learned something from this video as well. Please let me know in the comment section 
if you like this video and please like share and subscribe this video uh, with your friends or colleagues so that they will learn something uh, from this as well thank you